probably the one that would be the best to talk about would be the dichotomy of control because so, ma- so yeah. many people oh yeah, good yeah i mean so yeah. many people get i think get into it and they they say oh stoicism basically this is the the one central idea it's mm-hmm. interesting because it's it's not formulated explicitly until epictetus so it's, it's mm-hmm. kind of late okay. but but it is it's there in Cicero to some degree, and it's there in Seneca to some degree. It's just not mm. not framed as such. Yeah, yeah, and and you know, I think a lot of people they 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 read about that, and I know my students often have very strong reactions. Uh, sometimes the reactions are, "Well, this is bullshit." You know, <laughs> uh, what do you mean this isn't in my control, right? Yeah. And so, if you think about if you think about like finances. All right, we don't control the global economy. Um, you know, if if things tank tomorrow in the stock market, there's nothing I can do about my my retirement portfolio. Um, the you know, jobs come and go. That that's that's all true. And mm. the older you get, the, and, and the more that you're established as like a householder, the more expenses there are that just come mm. out of nowhere. Your kid needs this or that, or the car breaks down or whatever, mm. right? Um, but then people say, are, are you saying that I can't like choose whether I save money or spend it foolishly? Mm-hmm. And Epictetus would say, no, no, you can, you can choose that. It's just, there's no guarantee, you know, yeah. if you do, you know, a great, great example of this is, is, uh, the current debate about student loan debt. Mm. People are like, listen, I paid off my student loan debt. Why should we pay off anybody else's student loan mm-hmm. debt? You know, I did the right thing, you know. Uh, I don't, I don't, you know, I, I, are you just saying screw, screw you to me? You know, and people did this with the housing crisis here in America Mm. too, where they paid off their mortgages and you know, it's, it's, these things are not really in our control. You can, you Mm. can do your best at them, but you know, things can still go haywire and then people, you know, they'll, they'll say, well, what about my reputation? It's the same thing with that as well. You know, obviously, if you go and, and post racist screeds on Twitter, uh, you know, people are probably going to respond to that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's going to destroy your, your reputation, although you'll make another kind of reputation with the racists. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but if somebody else could, could, like, say that you did something and, and you get tarred with it, and that's, that's it. Or you do something yeah. stupid, like that woman who made the – a uh, terrible joke about AIDS in Africa when she was flying to uh, yeah. Africa and got off the plane and found that everyone in the world hated her now, you know? Yeah, it's uh, a rough flight. That's really, <laughs> yeah, yeah, when she was fired too, you know? Um, yeah. and, and so people say, okay, I, I get that. What about the body though? Mm. You know, that seems more in our control. Mm. And, you know, like, do, do you exercise? Do you eat proper, you know, uh, nutritious food or do you, mm. you know, have Burger King all the time. Um, those things seem to be in our control, but there's, you know, there's so Everything many things is that... Everything blurry. Everything is, is yes, but, or yeah. yes, and, you know, it's like, we, we do, we do, re- I mean, just if you look at what a human does, we really like to be very one way about everything yeah, that yeah. we think, right? But nothing is only one way. Um, and, and people people like to think that things are in their control because it it puts anxiety at, at yeah them. so if I think to so you know I'm overweight right and and I I uh, I exercise regularly um, because of my schedule I mostly just could get to do the weight circuit and not the cardio that I should be doing mm. and I could I could tell myself well I'm gonna exercise six days a week all the weeks from from now until next Christmas. Mm probably not going to happen mm-hmm. but if i if i if i pretend that it's in my control mm. then i don't have to feel anxious about well crap if i don't lose this weight you know i'm shortening my lifespan i'm yeah. not going to be there for my kids listen greg it's you're not doing too bad don't be too hard on yourself all right <laughs> <laughs> well i just want to be realistic you know yeah, yeah of course. But, but so um i think a lot of people want m- much more control than they they actually have and recognizing mm. the things that aren't in our control can be liberating Mm. It doesn't mean that we don't do what we ought to do. Epictetus says that we can we don't control these things, but we do control our responses to them. Yeah. So, you know, I, I do control whether I try to make it to the gym. I might try to get to the gym and traffic is too bad, mm. you know, or yeah. all the machines are down. <laughs> or, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Whatever. Right. 
uh, I'm sick. Uh, yeah. You know, I, 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 I've got the flu. And uh, a lot but, of but this can... is to do with nature, right? It's like align yourself yeah. with nature in a way that you understand that you can't control so much of like, what else would you call the busy hive of humanity and cities and, 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 you know, cyclones and bad weather and like everything yeah. that is happening around us that we can't control. That's nature, right? And so by aligning That's with right. nature, yeah, yeah. you're essentially saying, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to try to do anything that I definitely cannot do because nature has made it otherwise as in, as in, oh, yeah. how, do, how do I put this? Yeah. <clears throat> Um, you're not going to be unrealistic about, about that's what it. can actually happen. Um, so, you know, and that would, that would lead to some things like when it comes to finances, you probably would avoid get rich quick schemes because they yeah. never actually work. Right. Yeah. Um, but now then there's what's in our control and Epictetus says our, our thoughts and mm. our judgments and our, you know, decisions about what we're going to do, you know, what we prioritize, what we, what we don't prioritize hmm. our emotions to to a significant dark extent are in our control now he doesn't think that you can just like snap your fingers and not be upset hmm. but he does think that you can you know you can work on your habits and you can over time like you were saying you you, you know the negotiation thing if, if today you give anger half of what it wants because you can't just say no to it. Mm. Um, maybe over time you can you can get to the point where it no longer demands quite so much from you. Mm. And so these things are in our control. And you could say our general attitude, our general way of ordering our lives is something in our control. Mm. Yeah. And that's very liberating. Um, you know, realizing that we, we have a stake in it, that we're not just puppets of fate or hmm. chance or our genetics um, or, you know, malign forces. Hmm. Um, I think that that's very helpful to people. And, and I think.